the in the heart of Thunder's territory here, and um, we've spotted a, a little herd of buffalo from the other side, which is very exciting because I think it's the same group that I found yesterday, and there are two new huge emerging um, bulls in there with horns over 50 inch, 50 inch mark. Okay, here we are. Here they are. Here are the buffalo. Here. I think the exposure that I had growing up in a wilderness area and having my mother as a wildlife sculptor and my father as a very much an outdoorsman uh, were the cornerstones of my beginnings as a wildlife sculptor. This is a very recent clip of Thunder and I think expresses his pure magnificence. You'll see when he turns and then turns his head back to me. What an impressive animal he is, and one's imagination can't help be entirely captured if you know anything about the Cape Buffalo. At the moment, I'm working on a portrait of this incredible buffalo who lives here at the El Karama Conservancy. We named him Thunder a few years ago, but we've been studying him for 10 years. He is, in my opinion, one of the finest buffaloes in Africa, principally for his incredible horn development. This herd is, uh, has got a couple of really big horned buffalo. Um, not, not thunder, but quite possibly related. It's a, um, they're two new individuals. I've only picked up on them in the last couple of weeks. It's pretty exciting um, to know this gene is around for these these highly unusual big horn spreads. Because a lot of my work is specifically portraits of specific animals, every little detail of those animals is incredibly important. It's not just a buffalo, it's specifically thunder. His right ear is his right ear. It has 15 notches on it. That's the type of detail I'm looking at. There is a lot of emotion um, while I sculpt Thunder because I have um, known this animal for 10 years. I've always been obsessed with buffalo with big horns. Oh, there's a buffalo there. Oh God, that's Hold on. Hold on, it might be a little bumpy. That's... I can't believe our luck. Should get a place where we can, can look across and see him. Look at that buffalo. Oh my god, look at those horns. You see them just poking out over there. My creativity at the moment is very much outside my studio, right here at the Al Karama Conservancy, surrounded by um, so many species of wildlife and birds and such uh, incredible natural beauty. I only have to take a few paces outside to have my inspiration levels topped right up to maximum. My name is Murray Grant. I live at the El Karama Wildlife Conservancy in Kenya and I'm a wildlife sculptor working in bronze and silver.